Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we commemorate the feast day of Mary, our Lady of the Pilar, Nuestra Señora del Pilar. Today we are reminded by Mary that Jesus is our pillar of strength. Whenever we find life and our mission difficult, we come to Mary so that she may lead us to Jesus, our strength. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for his pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. As we venerate the glorious memory of the Most Holy Virgin Mary, 
Grant, we pray, O Lord, through her intercession, that we too may merit to receive from the fullness of your grace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I am not ashamed of the gospel. It is the power of God for the salvation of everyone who believes. For Jew first and then Greek. For in it is revealed the righteousness of God from faith to faith. As it is written, the one who is righteous by faith will live. The wrath of God is being revealed from heaven against every impiety and wicked wickedness of those who suppress the truth by their wickedness. For what can be known about God is evident to them because God made it evident to them. Ever since the creation of the world, His invisible attributes of eternal power and divinity have been able to be understood and perceived in what He has made. As a result, they have no excuse. For although they knew God, they did not accord Him glory as God or give Him thanks. Instead, they became vain in their reasoning, and their senseless minds were darkened. While claiming to be wise, they became fools and exchanged the glory of the immortal God for the likeness of an image of a mortal man, or of birds, or of four-legged animals, or of snakes. Therefore, God handed them over to impurity through the lusts of their hearts for the mutual degradation of their bodies. They exchanged the truth of God for a lie and revered and worshipped the creature rather than the Creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The heavens proclaim the glory of God. The heavens proclaim the glory of God. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims His handiwork. Day pours out the, day, the word today, and night to night imparts knowledge. The heavens proclaim the glory of God. Not a word nor a discourse whose voice is not heard. Through all the earth, their voice resounds, and to the ends of the world, their message. The heavens proclaim the glory of God. Please stand. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. After Jesus had spoken, a Pharisee invited him to dine at his home. He entered and reclined at table to eat. The Pharisee was amazed to see that he did not observe the prescribed washing before the meal. The Lord said to him, O you Pharisees, although you cleanse the outside of the cup and the dish, inside you are filled with plunder and evil, you fools. 
Did not the maker of the outside also make the inside? But as to what is within, give alms, and behold, everything will be clean for you. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. We begin this day, this morning, with a beautiful psalm that was read to us today in this Mass. The heavens proclaim the glory of God. It is good that we begin every morning. We begin this day by proclaiming the glory of God. What a beautiful way to always begin our day. To proclaim, to express the glory of God. My dear brothers and sisters, this is also a reminder to all of us that creation proclaims the glory of the Creator. Siguro po tuwing umaga na magigising kayo, kapag nakita natin at pagising natin na buhay pa tayo, ano yung nasasabi natin? No? Salamat sa Diyos at nagising pa ako ngayon. And when we look outside, we see a beautiful day beginning and we thank God for another beautiful day, another beautiful life. And we always say, thank God for this beautiful day. We are reminded that creation proclaims the Creator. In our first reading today from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans, this is the reminder of St. Paul that whenever we see the truth, whenever we see creation, we should always see the Creator because creation should proclaim the Creator. Whenever we see that there is truth, whenever we see that there is love, we see the beauty and love of the Creator. This is also the reminder of Jesus in our Gospel passage today. He reminds the Pharisees that when people see you, they do not just see you, but they should also see your Creator. That is why Jesus reminded the Pharisees not only to focus on the external manifestations of their faith, but they should also focus on what is inside by giving alms, giving help to the poor. And when people see that you are helping the poor, then they would see your Creator. My dear brothers and sisters, when people see us, do they also see our Creator? Kapag nakita tayo ng ibang tao, narinig ang ating sinasabi, nakita ang ating ginagawa, nakita ang ating trabaho, masasabi ba nilang, Ang Diyos ang lumikha niyan. God is our Creator. And every word that we say, every work that we do, as we begin our day, creation should always proclaim the Creator. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we commemorate the feast day of Nuestra Señora del Pilar, Our Lady of the Pillar. And this image in front of us is the gift of the Basilica of del Pilar in Saragossa in Spain 
to the Manila Cathedral. Mary appeared to St. James standing on a pillar when St. James was already having difficulty in his life and in his mission, Mary appeared to him standing on a pillar. This is a reminder to St. James that God is our pillar of strength. Mary, the creature of God, appeared to St. James and proclaimed to him the strength of God. The creature proclaims the Creator. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, today, as we begin our day this morning, let us pray to God that every word that we say, the truth that we are going to say today should reflect the truth of God. The love that we are going to show it to one another should proclaim the love of God for us. And whatever good that we are going to do to one another today may also proclaim the goodness of God. Let creation always proclaim the glory of the Creator. Amen. Please stand. Conscious of our unworthiness, we raise our minds and hearts to God the Father and present our needs before Him. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that the Church, especially its leaders, may take to heart the task of renewal and reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer, prayer, that government officials may show sincere concern for justice, dignity, and unity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer, prayer, that the media personnel may lead the people to the truth and promote the gospel values. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer, prayer, that the sick may find hope, healing, strength, and joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer, prayer, that the Lord may reward the faithful departed with eternal happiness for their faithful service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. God, our Father, help us to love and to serve you in spirit and truth through Jesus, who is our way, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours 
may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. We offer you the sacrifice of praise, O Lord, as we rejoice in commemorating the Mother of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we may advance towards eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us, through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through Him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith. 
We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is Yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you, that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. 
I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant to your church, O Lord, that strengthened by the power of this sacrament, she may eagerly walk in the pathways of the gospel until she reaches the blessed vision of peace which the Virgin Mary, your lowly handmaid, already enjoys eternally in glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Maria in Anang Awang.